What's up, motherfucks? Heading home. Just saw my wife. I just had dinner with uh, my wife, my brother-in-law, Mikey, my sister-in-law, Brittany, and her husband, Guillermo. Um, that's my brother-in-law, too, in a way. Um, and we, we had steak tacos, and it was fucking amazing. Guillermo's a good-ass cook. And, uh, yeah, got the squirrel, got that squirrel. Yeah. I'll let you tear it up. Listen to AFI. You guys like AFI? I love fucking AFI. Uh, I've missed fucking being in fucking Martinez and Concord so bad. Like, you can't even fucking imagine how much I miss being here. And now everyone's looking for a house and everything, you know. So I guess I'll probably have to like get a moose like registered as like a service animal. So I don't know. Yeah, I have a really bad headache. I wonder why I did that. Um, but yeah. So I mean, it seems like we're on the on the right track now. Everyone's motivated. So I said I'd probably pay between like a thousand and uh, and fifteen hundred a month. You know, I have unemployment for the next three months for sure. It should have been six months, but three months. I think three months is definitely enough time for me to find work. So now I really need to get fucking on it and uh, get a job. I'm like number 70 something on the list. I know I call in next week, I believe it is, next Thursday, I think. And uh, get, and uh, like re, what, whatever, what's it called? It's called roll call when you're in the union. So I have to call for a roll call and hopefully I will, uh, I'll be closer down on the list. Like hopefully I'll be like 60 something. Cause I mean, the list in Martinez kind of sometimes goes fast. It just kind of fucking depends. Uh, but yeah, I need to I need to get on calling and figure some shit out. Tomorrow I might go around and uh, look for work. The one thing is I don't have my hard hat. I don't have a safety vest because usually after like you work somewhere, they don't want you to have uh, your safety their safety vest like with their name on it because like oh what if you commit a crime you know. So I'm gonna see what I can do about I don't know. I have all my shit at Laura's house in Copper, so I don't know if I have to, like, go up there and get it. My mom was saying I should go get it. I kind of need a new tool belt, too, but, uh, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe going to get the truck, but it's just, like, there isn't really a point because I have nowhere to park it, and I have hella shit in the back, so I think the next thing I need to do, like, maybe tomorrow, since I get unemployment, uh, I need to go get a storage and figure that out. But then again, I, then again, I don't want to get a storage. So here, here's what, okay, I just thought of something. Let me kind of what, say this so I can go back and look. So my mom said if I went and got the truck, I could put some of the tools in it. So at the very least, I could put the shit that was um, in the back of the truck into the shed in front or whatever. And then that, and then I just have my tools on the inside. So I'd be good. Okay, so yeah, I might do that. I might ask Sierra about doing that. Dude, this song's fucking amazing. Yeah, who's that rock star? See, I, I've even missed the radio station. It is MC Lars. Google that shit, because it's, it's pretty dope. <laughs> um, I wonder if I'll get copyright claims. Anyways. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of in a, in a weird state of mind right now. Because I'm, like, so fucking, like, nostalgic. And I'm so happy and hopeful for the future. Honestly, I'm so glad Nicole waked the fuck out and I'm able to be down here. Shit. Yellow light. Um, because I fucking hated everything about up there and I was just like deteriorating and getting into shit that I, didn't, I shouldn't have and didn't want to and it's just bad. So I'm, tr I'm trying to get better. There's a lot of shit that I'm kind of going through like privately. Uh, no one's really aware of and uh, you know, don't, I don't want to touch it for what I'm just saying. And... Uh, so I guess there has been an, another update on my my ex stepmother. Uh, so my dad's I guess actually it's still actually yes it was just my stepmom because I guess they were still married until she ended up dying. So I guess uh, he he finally told me my dad finally told me how they actually found her dead. I made a video way the fuck down there um, saying my stepmom OD'd or was murdered. Like, if anyone said she OD'd, it makes sense, but, because she was really into pills, but, and drugs, but he, here's the thing that doesn't make sense, so I guess he, he was telling me that 
he went over to the house to try to like get some going for some of her stuff out or like help out and went and saw the neighbor because I guess no a different neighbor but uh Lacuna Coil uh fucking I guess the night bef the night that she died because they found her the next morning the the neighbors heard her yell no no stop help or something um but she they thought she was just like yelling, you know, at the TV or the radio like she normally did, or just she, that was kind of what she would do, like live stream and, and shit and just yell. Um, and so I guess they found her the next morning when she didn't answer the calls. I guess someone went over, and I guess she was like, like from the waist up, she had like hella clothes on, like a jacket, a scarf, fucking everything. Um, and but from the waist down, she was wearing nothing but one sock. And I guess, like, her head was pushed so far to the side that it very easily could have, like, broken her neck, but it, it didn't. It was, like, just about there. And, she, and you know, her, like, arms and legs were, like, spread eagle or whatever. So, I guess what, but the cause of death was supposedly an overdose. So, the guy that was there and spotted there that night... Is it wasn't like a blue SUV or a dark colored SUV and I guess she I guess he has a girlfriend that's a fentanyl dealer so the theory is is that he was selling her fentanyl ended up like raping her either raping her or like fucking her or something but since since she said no I'm assuming rape so I guess he raped her and gave her so much fentanyl that she probably died like during it you know um, and then he just, like, left her there. And there's, like, reports of him, like, leaving. So, so uh, my question is, though, like, why hasn't this guy been fucking arrested? You know? Like, they're, they're just waiting. But you know what's weird? Is, like, they're still waiting for the autopsy to come back, but she was buried. I could, I mean, I was, like, kind of dumbfounded this so my mom. Like, do they, do they, I mean, I guess, obviously, it takes a while for it to come back, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. At first, I was like, well, if they buried... But, yeah, so I guess, like, they had, like, a GoFundMe for Nicole and shit. And she and she always... I mean, this is kind of hard because you don't really know what I'm talking about. But she used to say she was part of, like... She was starting a drug called New Vision, which is, like, a nasal spray version of, like, Oxycontin and Percocet mixed with, like, meth and molly. And it just... Basically, she wanted to make everybody happy and high all the time. And I honestly... I get it. You know, she was trying this thing called the Purple Room Project... And she used to try to get, like, old abandoned warehouses. Like, I guess she, the, the fucking mayor of Antioch called her phone. Or whatever. And was like, yeah, me and Nicole were trying to get, a, you know, everything set up to help get the Kmart turned into a homeless shelter. Like, she, she had really good ideas. And, you know, she had these visions of grandeur. And, and she was a paranoid schizophrenic. And, and no one fucking believed her. But I guess a pharmaceutical company actually donated to her burial costs and gave her family money so and she said she was working with him and no one believed her and then he, my dad was saying that when he went to the funeral like and it was a private shut off funeral like like especially because of covid no one was supposed to be there and there was like 20 people in suits that looked 100 percent from the government they came to like blacked out cars and shit stood like 20 30 feet away didn't say a word to anybody and then as soon as they put her in the ground they left so obviously they were there for her and she used to say how she used to work for the government and was, like, in the CIA. And my dad was like, you know, I might sound crazy, but now, honestly, I believe every single word she ever said. You know, so he's torn up by it, even though he, he has a new girlfriend that he's going to marry soon. Like, he has a fiancé and everything, but that don't mean shit, you know. I know he still cares. I still care about her, you know. It's just, it's just a fucked up situation in general. So it's just like, I don't know. It's trippy. So now it's just like, because everyone thought she was fucking crazy. And then she basically gets raped and murdered, and the government and these pharmaceutical companies fucking come to her funeral and help pay for it. It's, it's a mind fuck. I'm mind fucked today, just by everything that's gone on since yesterday, and and just hearing those that news too. It's fucking insane. How's your day?